legends are created on both sides. Pilots with more than five kills are called aces. Ball, Manak, and on the German side, von Richthofen, their names and exploits are recorded in newspapers for consumption by a hungry public. The glamour and excitement of the aviators seems in stark contrast to the bleak news from the Western Front. The sympathetic public will stand the service in good stead when it comes to sharing out the reduced defence budgets after the war. It is now 1980 and the Germans have failed in their last major offensive and are being pushed back further towards the German border. The British decide that there should be a dedicated air service, and so the RFC and RNAS are merged to form the Royal Air Force. The date is the 1st of April, 1918. The new RAF is the most powerful air force in the world. It enjoys complete supremacy in the skies over the Western Front, thanks to new aircraft like the Bristol Fighter F-2. Arguably the best aircraft built by any country during the war, it proves to be adept in both reconnaissance and fighter roles. Incredibly, this aircraft will remain in service until the 1930s, as tightening of budget squeezes out investment in new aircraft. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, 1918, the guns fall silent. The war is over. As a condition of the armistice, Germany is forced to dismantle its armed forces. Her army and navy are severely capped. She is forbidden to have an air force of any description. So important has the role of air power become. With peace comes an explosion of aviation exploration. In 1919, two RAF officers, Alcock and Brown, make the first transatlantic crossing in a converted bomber, the Vickers Vimy. Six months later, two Australian pilots serving in the RAF make an epic flight to Australia. The significance of these long flights is not lost on military planners. The Australian government has decided to offer £10,000 for the first successful flight from London to Australia in a machine manned by Australians. The competitors are required to supply their own machines and make their own necessary arrangements. the 12th of November 1919, four Australian airmen prepared to leave Hounslow, England, in a Vickers Vimy aeroplane. G-E-A-O-U. God help all of us. The brothers Ross and Keith Smith and mechanics Shears and Bennett were seen off by a few RAF friends in weather considered unsuitable for flying. Silly ass for ever coming on this one. So After successfully reaching Lyon, their first port of call, they're heading east along the French Riviera. And only you. Every 
every little while my heart is aching. There's Monte Carlo. Let's have a crack at the casino. I'm Gilbert, the filbert, the nut with the cake, the fly, the picker, do we, the blase, who or Hades, the ladies, who leave their wooden huts, for Gilbert, the filbert, the kernel of the nut. decided to foreshorten their sea voyage and land on the island of Crete for necessary repairs. We can swim now if we have to. And move your life, boy. G is for God, don't forget. We have been assured that adequate precautions have been taken for the 250 mile sea crossing to Africa, where the airmen fought in the Great War. Hasn't changed much from the war days. Anxiety felt. Position of Vimy GEAOU uncertain. Where'd you say we were? No wonder Moses got lost here for 40 years. Vimy crew landed near Baghdad. We are greatly relieved. Feeling done. She'll be sweet now. Let the great big world keep turning. Never mind if I've got you. For I only know that I want you so, and there's no one. Middle East and India crossed in seven days, arrived at Rangoon 18 days after departure. Race courses are for flame and GGs, not aeroplanes. Excellent progress across the Far East. The Chinese government has ordered 100 BMIs similar to GEAOU. BMI landed in Dutch East Indies. resting before the final leg of the journey. Turtle soup's nice. But I can't wait to get back home. The first love is the last love And it's the best love of all The new love is never the true love It's only you that makes me... Weather perfect. Estimated flying time to Australia two days. Get the billy on for tea, Moore. We're coming home. It doesn't matter where I chance to be. No one else would be the same. Vimy sighted at noon today, heading for Darwin, 